Thanks for joining us. Yeah. All right, as always, I'm Adam. I'm Molly. And I'm Zach. So we have our very special topic today. It's Friday the 13th, but since it we is. have another one next month, we decided to do... We have two? Uh, yeah, two, two Friday the 13th. I don't two know if I can handle row. all that bad luck. I don't know if I can handle that. Oh my gosh, I didn't know that. That's why I've been saving up all this good luck from previous years. And <laughs> so now it's just going to all go down the drain. Can, can you do that? I, that? I can. Right. Yeah. So I instead of instead of yes. talking about Friday the 13th and creepy stuff, we're going to talk about, about affairs to remember. Affairs to That's remember. nice and scandalous, right? Right. Kind well, of on the Valentine's Day topic line. Exactly. You know? Exactly. And we're talking about, you know, not affairs, but like big events. You know, we could like talk about affairs. Oh, well, we could. Affairs. Speaking of affairs, affairs like where's that? Tina? She's late. She's late. Mm. She must huh. be having an affair. Mm. That's the only... <laughs> yeah. That's the only conclusion I can get. Sorry. I, I'm not going to go as far to say that, Tina. I've got your back. I mean, I'm not saying she is. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying. She is probably. Probably. By all accounts and indications. Speaking of knowing if you're having an affair or not, Adam did a fantastic package right, for right. us. Uh, how many is it? Like 10 ways to know? Uh, if you're only five. An because five <laughs> ways to know. It really only takes one. <laughs> if even one of these is true. Yeah. Well, the, these are signs to, to watch out for. For girls. With your boyfriend. Yeah. Or guys with or a girl. I mean, can, girls yeah, are innocent all the time. Yeah, I mean, I mean guys the other don't way really around. cheat. It's usually only women. But, yeah. You know, In the case that, you know, yeah. a yeah. guy were to be cheating. So good. We've got that package. What <laughs> else do we have? Then we also have a sort of historical look at affairs. Oh, very time. nice. Yeah. You're tying it all together. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. But speaking of historical affairs, remember, I have some current affairs to remember. Do you? It's kind of Really? Are you know that we're live, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> all right, current, all right, let's. Well, it's the, it's the developing Chris Brown and Rihanna story. Oh, I'm no. sure you guys have heard of this. Yeah. I've you always updated on my celebrity it. gossip. You have? You haven't heard of it? I mean, I heard a little bit, like, Chris someone Brown got punched in the face, that's all. Chris Brown beat up Rihanna. Punisher, lip was busted, nose was bleeding, yeah. bites, bites on her arms, <laughs> crazy stuff. I, that's, that's the most confusing part to me. They must have gotten... Bites yeah. on the arms? Right. Some people, well, it could, you know, just... Anyway, um, I yeah. guess it was a result of many things, but one of them being Rihanna is reportedly extra, extra over-the-top jealous. Chris Brown, and when he was on tour in Europe, she hired a private investigator yeah. um, and people to follow him. The so whole he punched her in the time. face. <laughs> so I suppose that this when is a very this isn't gonna work out. Is it? <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I'm guessing he was having a, a few affairs, if you know what I mean. Um, it's Chris freaking Brown. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, I probably would have a Chris private Brown investigator too. Yeah. So do you think that <laughs> cheating on yeah, your girlfriend? You don't you go beat her up? I mean, does that justify <laughs> it? I don't know. Well, I, I, what's what's I'm really, really sorry, that logic? What, I, yeah. Is there something? <laughs> of course, we don't mean to make light of relationship abuse. Of any sort anyway, of how yeah. scary yeah. is that? Cause we shouldn't actually laugh at that. <laughs> yeah, that is pretty awful. You're horrible people. <laughs> I'm just teasing. Just you, teasing. the <laughs> sanely Adam above laughing at I know, I would never laugh at anything. But anyway, I thought that was so out of character. I mean, yeah, out of character for Chris it's not Brown. You would, it's not as public well, as Well, how well do you know Chris? I'm, that's why I was <laughs> yeah. saying this. I mean, you know what Pat Sajak's really well. Well, like. I mean, he's so young. He thinks he's 18 or 19 years old, and so is Rihanna. You just don't think of, you know, I mean, I know his music, and he's got a young fan base. You just wouldn't yeah. think of a young right. rap no, pop true. star that's doing that. So I know his... Um, Wrigley's gum campaign ads have been. Um, How did they pull those? Kind of like, kind of like Michael Phelps and uh, Kellogg's. The cereal. Oh, is that right? From the. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, you do one thing, you, you lose a good thing, you know. Yeah. Anyway. That's why I never let people photograph me. <laughs> yeah. Because you probably get away with affairs all the time. Yeah, you have no idea. <laughs> I'm, I'm dead. <laughs> It'd be hard living in that media spotlight, though. So yeah, thank I know goodness the that you play it cool. This, I know this college television paparazzi just follows me. Oh yeah, they're waiting outside the studio for us the moment we walk out of here. Yeah, cameras. Like ready. I actually have a mask that I have to wear now. Like sunglasses don't even do it for me. Yeah. Well, what else? What else is going on? What are you guys doing for Valentine's Day? I know at least my my perspective is I kind of think it's overrated. So my boyfriend and I really don't do a whole lot. I might actually just go out with girls Saturday night. I'm actually having a little having a little shindig. Are you? Yeah. Well, thanks it's... for the invite. Oh, you were invited. No. Ooh. Via Facebook. Your invitation must have been. You don't check Facebook. Facebook. Like, all right. Well, <laughs> if you don't check I'm, Facebook, I'm I'm yeah. I'm having a little finer things party. We're gonna dress up. Okay. Listen to classical music. Oh, 
Oh, I love that. Wine and cheese for the 21 and over crowd. Right. Uh, well, cheese, cheese, for, cheese, cheese for the, you know, under 21 crowd. Yeah, well. You cannot eat cheese unless you're 21 uh, and over. Nope. <laughs> Do you not ID. have plans for Valentine's Day, believe it or not? I'm shocked, no. Adam. I am. I, I would am think shocked. you'd have a movie date lined right. up. Well, I had like several girls ask me out, yeah. but I decided of to, that. you know, it happens all the time. So I decided to reserve the date for our AM Arkansas viewers. Wow. So let's pop the number up. I'm sure you've seen the movie Win a Date with Tad Hamilton. Instead, it's Win a Date with Adam. So if you Very are an attractive nice. female, call in Jonathan back in the studio. He'll take down your name, look you up on Facebook, and if you're decent looking, He'll take down your number and then we'll patch you over to the studio. Just for an update, there have been no calls so far. How many calls have we had, Jonathan? Uh, zero right now. Of course, it's very early in the in the morning. So. <laughs> well, it's probably like everyone's trying to call it once. Yeah, it so might be jamming the system. The lines might or might not be jammed right now. That they are jammed. But I mean, th this is like all those infomercials. We have an hour, so I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Call yeah. now. Oh, we have a call right now, actually. People at the. We have a call on the phone right now as we speak. Hold on. No. Molly, you're tying up the lines. All of our viewers can't get no, through. No, you don't understand. Hi. Hello. Look, I'm Zach. just trying to win a date with Adam. Hi. Hello. Hi. How can I have a date with you? Well, uh, do you have any modeling experience? Yes. yes. I have uh, my model for. Um, a foot model. You're a foot model. Hmm, interesting. Uh, Jonathan, do I have your Facebook photo approval on this? Uh, I have yet to uh, gather that information right now. We are still Jonathan, in the process. How much are we paying you? Not enough, sir. Not enough. I'd oh, okay. Sorry. That wouldn't yeah. be her that on the phone. No, that we're going to have to. Uh, <laughs> I'm not, right, that'll be on the back burner. I'm sure you're going to get so yeah. many other I know, you, it's still early. There's, it's that, was, that was a demonstration. Right. That was a right. demonstration. Right. I mean, she, no. obviously she wasn't really no, trying just, to make it seem right. like that she would was be someone. Ridiculous. Well, anyway, you're going to want to yeah. stick around with us because we have Get more of awesome all stuff. of this really coming up. Awesome and how could you want to turn the channel? So stay yeah. right here. And Tina, who's hopefully finishing up her affair, whatever she's right. doing, will be here with us. So stay tuned for her. And you're watching AM Arkansas. We'll be right we'll back. We'll see you in a few. Back to AM Arkansas. Thanks for sticking around with us. And uh, we still apparently haven't had much phone working, so I think it's too many people calling at once. Yeah. So I mean, maybe yeah. if a few of you just like laid off on the phone calls. Yeah. Just take your time. Like take turns. Right. The you know? the top people in the top third of the country call between now and eight ten. People in the middle call between eight ten and eight eleven. Oh, then people in the so south between rules. eight, twelve, eight. Just it's just like that. Just words for the Amish fight. and their just fireplaces, fight. so it can work for us. Yeah. So well, just, we we, we just uh, yeah, Adam. I wish you the best luck. Bikini models that. call on odd numbered times, and lingerie models call on even numbered times. Okay. I think that'll be the there's best. There's plenty. There's plenty, Adam, to go around. You should yeah. just put. You just should have put an ad in the Traveler or something. I think it'll be easier. No, Ed, but. Uh, yeah, but this is this makes outside. that way Jonathan can filter out and only oh, right. get the best because otherwise you get the all crim. these calls and I mean, my you're opinion like, does matter. My opinion does matter to this, you know. So Jonathan, you're you're supposed to be space but stalking yeah, all of our callers. Sorry, I'm trying. I'm trying. It's so hard to keep up with these numbers and names. Well, you, if you can handle graphics and video and audio, listen, and, you should be able to run yeah. the show and Facebook stalk our callers at the same time. I'm surprised I do that you're not. Here. So I should be able to do it in the show, shouldn't I? <laughs> Well, we yeah. got a hold of Tina. Yeah. We gave her a quick call. Apparently, break. she's not having an affair. She was out of breath. Well, actually, that out, I'm but. not going to go that far. She said she woke up <laughs> wow. this morning. Well, she woke because up. she was having an affair. She was not. I was I, was I woke say. up this morning. I'm Maybe. sorry, I'm really late. Yeah, that sort of thing. She woke up at eight. I wonder because she was probably having too much fun having you know, an affair last night. Tina's parents probably watched this show. 
That oh, Tina's yeah. mom does and watch this they show. probably hate me right now. Well, yeah. they probably know, they probably you know, what do. her her habits are. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if she's really the parents just can kidding. always tell. Tina, Tina. She's not oh, watching. She's, she's driving here. We can say whatever we want. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm speaking more to her mother. Oh she, yeah. <laughs> no, Tina's Tina mother. Speak. We're just yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, what what else is going on? Uh, we we had we talked about a lot of the break and can never seem right. to figure it out here. Right. Well. <laughs> Is this chocolate? chocolate? Oh, oh, we have we chocolate. do have chocolate. Let's let's talk about chocolate and things Valentine's Day related. What's the best gift is there you've dark, ever? Dark, dark hot chocolate in there. Because if there is dark chocolate, go for I'll it. I'll take it. They usually mm -hmm. say and, on the and while, while you eat this, what's the best gift you've ever received on Valentine's Day? You know, I've never really that we can say over the air. Been the I've never really gotten a great Valentine's Day gift. I'm gonna throw a pity party because I really haven't. I think it's one of those ho those, Molly, those holidays. I'm. Is this a gift? This is the best gift I've ever received. Don't ask me what I you do with it. I just think you're supposed to hold it. That it's one of those days that, that really is kind of overrated. And, and that's okay. I know I keep saying that and yeah, people are like, is. well, I disagree. I think it's the best day it's, ever. It's like somebody from Arizona. Oh, the Super Bowl is overrated. Yeah. I think like the whole single awareness day thing too is just people feeling sorry for themselves. Single awareness? No. It's yeah, a bunch I know. of crap. Yeah. I'm still, I'm still it's it's like like trying to find yeah. the right moment to, to get one of these in. There's always um, a right moment to eat chocolate? a chocolate. It's dark-ish. Well, we're going to go for it. But uh, what's the best gift you've ever had? The best Valentine's Day gift I ever had. I I'm, I'm sure you get a lot of yeah. them. Uh, yeah, I do, mm -hmm. I do. Like, uh, one time I went to, like, uh, I got a card once. Cards are yeah. good. Cards My mom good. got me some candy once. What's My mom say? usually gets me candy. Yeah. Your mom usually gets me candy, too. <laughs> Ooh. Zing. Zing. Well, <laughs> actually, no, I take that back. One of the best... Valentine's Day gifts I ever got was freshman year of college. I got a little um, care package in the mail um, for my family, and it was this like homemade. I don't know, kind of like Chex Mix, but it was sweet and had like okay. chocolates and then okay. homemade cookies okay. and right. cards. And the, yeah, I know. It was yeah, fantastic, I know, yeah. and it just made my whole week. Aww. Yeah, it was great. I really just want to eat this. <laughs> <laughs> just well, eat away. Eat away. Yeah, since our topic is a fair stream member, as yes. we mentioned earlier, we did uh, look through our UATV vast historical archives to find mm -hmm. some of the... Right. Yeah, the 10 most... Well, there have been a lot of affairs. Yeah, so I just picked the 10 most memorable affairs in history. So... Are, it, are, are you on this list, Adam? Uh, well, we'll, have to, we'll just have to roll the tape. <laughs> okay. We'll find we'll, out. We'll just have to find out then. Here are your affairs to remember. Wow, that was great. That was very clever. Thank you. Thanks Thank for putting that you. together. But I do have one thing to say. All those great movies, those classic movies at the beginning. Can you really find a guy to actually sit down and watch those movies with you as a girl? I, I mean, well, you're not a girl. Yeah, I was like, know. yeah, I can <laughs> find love. <laughs> hey, do you want to come over hey. and watch watch the other Berlin girl I'm, with I'm me, Zach? Awesome, awesome. You're awesome. Free. But you I mean, me, the thing is, is those movies are so great. But could. Yeah. Is there a real man out there who can actually sit down and watch one of those and appreciate hey, it? Hey, I have sat through. Yeah, I've seen all the ones we showed. At least. The Notebook. Where was the Notebook? Well, they were I was talking oh, about. having an affair. Pride and Prejudice. Prejudice. Affairs. Way to ruin the movie Sense for and all of our viewers. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, that's Lawrence of Arabia. Oh, I'm sorry. I actually, that's. I like that. I got a yeah. text message really quick. <laughs> uh, Molly has been texting. Yeah, like, she's been texting us. Oh, Molly, what's he this text message business about? I don't know. I, I'm just getting to know this guy. He um, just some creeper kind of guy. Oh, yeah? Asking lots of questions from like. Where's he from? Old Miss or something. Creepy guy from Old Miss. I think his yeah. name is like. He is just he... keeps citing initials H N. I don't know what that stands for, but. What is something about? Yeah, yeah. Do you football. keep texting about foot football. Yeah, he just he, he's yeah. a fan, so I'm telling him I love the hogs, and he's kind of got he's a little sour toward the hogs. I don't know why, but anyhow, he's yeah. a creepy old guy from Ole Miss. We just, we're yeah. just but anyway, it's, it's kind of romantic telling all these things. So, all right, watch out. Yeah. Just don't send too. Sorry minutes. to do that on the watch air. Watch out for the older guys. Oh, okay, yeah. really? Yeah. You know what? Well, on that topic, what's the what? At what age gap? Is too yeah, big of a gap. That is the question. What age gap is too big of a gap? Huh? Because it's different with guys and girls. Yeah. Yeah. Like if a 50-year-old's with like a 20-year-old, like a guy and a girl, it looks creepy, but you're still like, all right, you know. Is there I think it's thing? all relative. I think that you take everything into account. I mean, if you're in high school and you're dating somebody, if you're 17 and dating a 20. 
22 year old, that's a big deal. But yeah, I mean, it yeah. is. But if you're a little bit older, if you're 25 and dating a 35 year old, it's not that big of a I mean, it's. Yeah, it's not as big. Like, right. it, yeah, the time stretches out. Because I remember, like, in elementary school, if you even have a friend that's like a grade ahead of you, it's really, it was really oh, man, yeah. Yeah. I'm like, friends with a fifth grader. You can, yeah. I remember when I was in seventh grade, the junior high, I knew a tenth grade boy at the high school, and Whoa. it was a big deal. Ooh. And we would talk Molly. about it at the lunch table. Woo! It was scandalous. Yes. Molly, what kind of girl were you back then? I like the older men. Molly. That's why I'm texting with this HN from Old Miss who likes football. Yeah, who doesn't, though, right? It's a little creeper. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so what do you think? That's a great question. Yeah. What do you think the, the, um, the, he's eating the whole box of chocolates. Anyway, you know, what do you Zach, think? I brought those for the entire <laughs> cast and I'm really crew. actually going through these. And crew. And, and crew. crew. I said and crew. Robin, I'll bring some back to you, baby. Yeah. I'll so, bring some back to you. I'll bring some back to you as soon as you get me some more calls. Okay, so you're not, you must not be fielding these phones. It's got to just be ringing and you're not picking up. What is the biggest gap? And is there a difference between girls and boys? Like, can a, can a man, an older man, Date a younger girl as I opposed think, to you know, an mean, older I mean, woman dating a younger man. I think man. it's more the time stretch is you can get away with a larger time stretch if the guy is older. Yeah, I mean, I don't. Yeah. I think it because you don't even, want like a Harold and Maude sort of thing where it's just really. It's yeah. it, it's also kind of a, like a little cougar. bit weird. I mean, e even if it's like a, at our age, just a just a few years. I mean, it's looked. You know, yeah. on from the outside is kind of well, like, oh, guy dating. Yeah, him. like I would never, okay, I don't want to say I would never, but I would feel a little bit weird dating a girl who had already graduated, even though she'd probably be younger than me. But it's still. <laughs> even though she'd be half yeah. age. Yeah. <laughs> Not that. <laughs> I Adam's, Adam, Adam is right actually right 40 from... years old. Yeah, oh. I just shave constantly. Just kidding. I'm, I'm the one so, with the hairline. So how old, are, how old are you? I'm 20 years old. It's 20? kind of a yes. question. Okay, I'm 21. How old are you? 24. 24. So, so what is? So how if old I were to eight, if if I were to date Adam, would that be weird? That would. No, not weird at all. Okay. If you had 20 and a 24 year old, it'd be inappropriate. Age, not weird we're at all. What about a 24 year old and a 30 year old? Like, would I? I would date a 30 year old woman if. You know everything. That'd be like out. the um, the cougar, right? Because she's going after the younger I don't know, guy. It's only six years, so I don't know if it would be six really. Six years cougars. really isn't that that much. It I depends. mean, Ashton Kutcher and yeah. Demi Moore make it look easy. I think it yeah. depends on the, easy breezy. the. Yeah, it depends more on like where they are in life than right. the exact age. I think. So you would want an older, really wealthy, established, beautiful woman. Well, it depends. She, for. How much is she willing to buy? <laughs> and, You're terrible. Right. Yeah. You're terrible. She has to be incredibly good looking too. I'm just very particular. Or, or otherwise, Adam will be tempted to cheat. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm just being honest. This guy, this man, I do you not can't, want you can't a relationship. tame him. There's no taming him. He's I'm like, like a, a wild, wild beast. Mustang. Yeah, mustang. Exactly. See, although, I mean, you, you, I mean, see, at least Adam, it's, it's just out in the open. I mean, you right. know. You know what you're getting. You know what you're getting. You yes. know you're just. <laughs> look right. look at are. that beautiful face. Right. So handsome. I mean, do we look have at that, calls? and you know you're dealing with. Do we a have any guy. callers? I'm sure we have tons of callers, Molly. Woo. I mean, yeah. Yeah. yeah, do we have any any callers? I, mean, I, have, I have very little time to even work on the show. There's so many calls going on right now. Oh, wow. That's, well, that's just hey, only, only let the good ones through. Only okay. let the good ones through. I mean, it's, if, it's a tough list now. here to fill. Okay. Uh, if, if they don't sound hot, don't even look for their photo. Wow, so I'm supposed Facebook. to be judging all these callers we're getting? Well, yeah, the, yeah. I, I thought that was the idea. Yeah. I mean, that's why right. if they don't have It's called win a date. It's not called free date. Yeah. They have to pass through Jonathan Weaver. Right. right. Well, while Jonathan, bouncer, while Jonathan, while yeah. Jonathan works on that, I guess we'll take a break so he can um, just handle that. And Tina just calls. showed up, thank goodness. So we're gonna have her joining us right. after the break, and we've got. And we're gonna um, grill her about <laughs> what was really going on. What the heck on. she's been doing? So stay with us. You're watching AM Arkansas. I'm gonna eat this chocolate. <laughs> Give me that one. <laughs> you're welcome back. Dude. Look who Tina. we found. Uh, look who we found. Tina's welcome, here. Tina. So. Tina has a lot to explain. Look at that look yeah. of guilt on her She's face. She's got this How about you enjoy you know a nice chocolate? Yeah, why don't you just... No, th no, thank you. Why don't you spill what you've been doing? Last night, you went. You didn't get home till late. That's why you woke up late. What's going right. on? What's um, the deal? You have a lot to explain. Yeah, I, I'd feel a little better if there weren't cameras on me. Well, just but pretend your princess choice. died. Just Let's just confession. get it out there to the world. Okay, what happened? So, so, so last night, right. I went over to the, this guy's apartment. It's a friend. Co-worker, yeah, know sure. him pretty well. You guys know him pretty well too, actually. Let's not drop Wait, well, let's just, really get, let's just get on. Tell your story. Yeah, let's. Okay, okay. Yeah. So I go over to this this guy's apartment, 
And and this package comes on TV, and it's called Five Ways to Tell if Your Boyfriend is Cheating on You. Right. And it was so compelling and just just so believable. It was you know, a terrific like package. Every, every one would come, you know, <laughs> number bad. one, this is <laughs> this. Number two, this is that. You know, and every one was just like, yes, that's my boyfriend. Yes, that's my boyfriend. Yes, he does that too. Even the contradictory that, ones. So you were every, convicted. Everything. That. I was so sure. I knew as soon as I saw that package oh, that Drew was cheating on me. It was, there was, could be no other explanation. And so, you know, like, I am not the kind of person ever, ever, ever to do anything wrong. I'm like That's Tim Tebow. That's what they all say. Like, Tim Tebow, you know? Never done anything She's wrong in my life. Myself. You spend five minutes with Tina, your oh. life will be changed forever. <laughs> so yeah. anyway, so I'm really interested. So anyway, I decided to stay the whole night. Not, nothing, Tina. Happened, nothing happened. I just stayed the whole night, and clearly the guy was not committed to helping get me up at the same time he got up because he was here in plenty of time for the show, and I was not. So he was here? Mm. For the show. Well, anyway, just, what's, what about this package? So we, have a, we have a copy. Adam, we do have a copy. You look like you want to say something, but you also look like you'd rather eat one you of these. You have a copy of his package. I can't talk. My mouth's full. <laughs> well. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm, not, I'm confused. Yes, let's, let's show this I'm Yes, video. we have a copy of this package. Let's, let's play it. Stuff. Let's, let's play it. I'll play the package so everyone would understand. Here are five foolproof ways to tell. Number one. Does he have female friends? If he does, he's probably cheating on you with them. Number two, is he spending less time with you than he usually does? It could be a sign that he's out having an affair. But number three, if he's spending more time with you than he usually does, he's probably feeling guilty for having an affair. Number four, have you noticed any changes in his behavior recently? It could be a sign that his preferences have changed in other areas too, namely you. Number five, has he seemed distant or, or uncommunicative at all? He's probably having an affair. So, is he cheating on you? Yes. So it's pretty black and white. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's pretty, pretty, pretty compelling. Watch that? Yeah. I mean, Drew definitely has female friends. You know, he definitely does. I'm a friend. You know, yeah, and he's... Oh, and oh, see? Oh, 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 no, no, I'm a friend. Well now. Okay, well, so yeah, you know well. You're already making innuendos. I mean, <laughs> we don't need Tetsu oh. cake. We know what kind of girl you are. A little, little suspicious now. I don't know if I can sit next to Molly. I just, I don't know. Oh well, you know, I really, I don't know how I feel about you. Just trying to thinking it's okay to just go off and I know, have an I, affair I of your own. But what would you have done? You know? What would you have done? Yeah, you probably the same as I. You idea. probably would like probably. to know how to do it, wouldn't you? How to have an yeah. affair? Yeah, how do you have an affair? Uh, how do you have an affair? Why are you looking <laughs> at me when you ask that? Do, do, do you want to play by play? Okay. You well, our initial idea play play was just to... I don't yeah. actually know. All I did was just stay on the couch of some guy's apartment. I didn't do anything. That is, does that count as an affair? That count as an affair. It's easy. First you need to put on some music right there. Bring it back. Bring it back. Step number one. That's the first step. The mood setting music, and then we right. need whatever. First thing and then, and then yeah. this dance, I find. I mean, maybe I'm trying to say something with the Shaggy song. I don't know. <laughs> it wasn't me. It wasn't, it wasn't Jonathan. <laughs> yeah. Is that not a good dance? That was a good I swear that usually works. That, that would yeah, you first, yeah, yeah, your main dance. Almost is as well as your HTML shirt. Yeah. That, but that, that's even more. Two, two out of three. Okay. Two out of three. That's what I go how for. Did, how how to to well, look, look, Molly. One of the yeah. first, one of the most important yeah, things sure. about having an affair is you need an excuse. So when you're right. caught and you're late for a show, instead of just spilling the beans, you actually oh. have a good excuse. You can blame so it on that somebody. Happened. So I already made a mistake. Be Why like, did you cheat on me? You wear funny socks. It would be like, I he wasn't does. cheating on true. you. I was interrogated <laughs> by the socks. CIA, or I was at a funeral. Or this is the kind of excuse he's talking about, not I a reason. <laughs> so <laughs> so <laughs> one, we need to be Whoa, afraid of. a reason? <laughs> not, not a reason, Hold on. an excuse. An excuse. You need an excuse, right. not a Because reason. you don't want There's to admit that you have an affair. You right, have to so have, like my yeah. reason was, oh, Drew's cheating on me, I'm going to cheat on him. I needed an excuse. You like, needed, I'm not like, actually cheating I was on doing him. homework. I was doing homework. At a friend's, you don't say guy friend, you just say friend. Unless Very you're Adam, and then Adam doesn't need excuses. Unsuspecting. Because I was doing like we said, homework at right. friend's right. house, Drew, duh. Yeah, yeah. Like, exactly. Like, like, like no why are you accusing me? Is it because you're guilty? Exactly. Right. That's a great thing. Did you have mom? Perfect. Reverse psychology. No. I think Molly's See, and what you do is you say, you know, people who are suspicious <laughs> are probably having affairs you themselves. Kids. 
and you can right. really yeah, mess with their thing. head. That's the thing. You're going you're gonna to accuse here's somebody what else you you're do. probably If this goes yourself. on for a while and they're continually suspicious, start to like move things around the house and they think that they're crazy. And then they and then trust plant, their own judgment. And then plant a what? girl's underwear. Mm-hmm. Be like, look, you had an affair and you don't even remember. Sometimes I just do that to my guy friends with girlfriends. I'll just put a random piece of woman's underwear in in the room for their... That, that's mind. what I did actually yesterday. And I sent what, all these happens. all these cards that were unsigned well, that looked like it was girl's that handwriting. I'm suspicious of Drew. Did you do that to him? Did yes. you find some random? Yeah, that was yeah, actually probably me. Zach. Well, well, well. This is just a we'll really a lot this. for me. We'll what a, what a tangled show. web. During what a tangled break. web. During the break, yes. after the show. I'm really sorry, Tina. I'm glad you're here. Thank you. Thank do you. Do we have um, sorry, another to video audience. to show right no. now? Not right now. <laughs> sorry, I'm just doing nice things on. I'm really excited. We do have I'm lots of callers, great. though, I'm sure. Yeah, do John, do we, is there anyone calling? I mean, surely. Oh, look, well, yeah. Well, I, I mean, obviously people are calling. I hate to break the news to you, but I've yet to receive another phone call besides that original one. Right yeah. off the bat. Maybe, no, we should, maybe we should show the graphic that, again. That's, that's, that's funny. Hilarious. That's funny. Yeah, yeah, funny, funny. Show the graphic hey. again. One more time. You're one not paid time. to make jokes, Jonathan. You're just paid to answer the phone. To answer the phone and yeah. sift through the calls. I mean, we, we're we, trying to get my buddy Adam graphic. here. Speaking of which, out. we do need to pay him with a chocolate. Yeah. Well, this isn't a package we're allowed to talk. But <laughs> this is, a, of course, win a date with Adam. If you have, you know, even if you do have something to do tomorrow night, Valentine's Day, Dump your boyfriend. Go out with me instead. This is your only chance. Ladies, Look at that eyebrow. Yeah. Or, yeah. Or, or you're not. Number is 479-575-6930. Oh, yeah. Adam, yeah. Just, Adam just said something that's very, very crucial. He said, dump your boyfriend and you can go out with me. Right. You don't have to dump your boyfriend, ladies. Oh, you wow. You have an affair. That is true. Adam's all too that's willing. True. He doesn't this have is, to be you guys are the just sole focus of your life. Overly scandalous. Like, right. I know. You know, that, this look, is the look, theme and then you guys the turn the into, I don't even know. I don't even know you anymore. This is the thing about affairs to remember. We select to the theme for the same reason we select all our themes which is that it's Tina a multifaceted it. Oh, I chose it. I chose well, it. Well, I did. I did. But that is because was anyone else coming up with themes? No, I, I think so. had some very good ideas. It's yeah, a good thing I came up with all the themes because had I not, you would have kicked me off the show for being late two weeks in a row. That's yes, probably yes. true. So we didn't kick that's my off. Yeah, that's my saving theme. grace. I mean, I really wanted today's to be foot fungus, yeah. but that didn't go over too well. I don't know why. But See, like I oh, said, I had I had uh, something with my teeth. That was your excuse. Oh yeah. yeah you you really what having an affair? No, he took his tonsils out. That those aren't your teeth. That's going. That's really drastic. Those aren't there, there was footage proof. Oh, right, they, because they, if it's on video, I believe it. You know, like JFK getting shot and all. Yeah, yeah, right, all right. I believe it, yeah. So, um, you chose you chose affairs to remember. Right, well, remember when we talked about it, we thought, well, you can talk about more than just cheating on your boyfriend or girlfriend right. or, wife or wife or husband. Or, husband. or domestic partner or Or dog. Else. <laughs> All like right. if you go to someone else's okay. house and you play so with their dog. Different strokes could, for different folks. So we probably could have made the entire show just about <laughs> different types of cheating romantically. But we also could have talked about cheating in class, all different kinds of cheating, whatever. Or it's a, affairs. Or yeah. an even more important thing, we could have talked about what are the highlights of of college. What are going to be the big affairs to remember? Mm. What are the things that, like, what are the aspects of life that we're going to remember always? Probably the... Cheating on, yeah. Probably and the actual we're back to that. But if you are interested <laughs> at all that. in talking about something other than cheating, we are going to be talking about those sorts of things when we come back after this break. Stay tuned. You're watching AM Mark and Talk. It's, it's, it's going to be a surprise. I need to regroup. I do, have, I do have something to say. When somebody's Thanks for listening. Join us tomorrow.
The Sports Advantage, Thursday at 9 on UATV. 25 million homeless animals are euthanized each year in the United States. That's a rate of one per second. Spaying and neutering is the only way to see the end of pet overpopulation. The Humane Society of the Ozarks has partnered with local veterinarians to provide a low-cost spay and neuter program. Assistance is available to all Northwest Arkansas pet owners. For more information, contact the Humane Society today. Wednesdays at 7 on UATV. Back to AM Arkansas. Of course, we're here Welcome with back. Affairs to Remember. And let's see, we're just talking about some of the most memorable events in our lives. And, uh, you know, it's just saying, like, if you're an astronaut, and it'd just be so horrible because you're about to blast off into space, but you have to sit there in the space shuttle for like 10 minutes. Or yeah, like hours and hours. Ten minutes. Ten minutes is oh, a long no. time for some of us. All right. Could possibly wait ten minutes. I get upset that Netflix takes a whole day to get my movie here. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, so that would be a memorable moment in an astronaut's life. Absolutely. Oh, sorry. It's seriously. Is it a ten again? Yeah, I didn't even know. I thought we were on sorry. On it's um, from the guy from Old Miss that I keep. The the, the creepy Hello. old guy that likes football. Hey. Yeah. I would love to. Is, is this really hap- Wow. Is this really happening? Did she just wow. walk off? Is oh my gosh. Oh, I would love to. Uh, don't, don't walk up with some creepy really? old guy on the See phone. No, don't do that. Later, oh my gosh. Mom. No, we can't, we can't do this. Something's going to happen to her and we're going to be responsible. Yeah, she'll probably- I don't know what's the You know what? You know what? She's, she's a grown girl. You know what? People people just need to be allowed she's to She's a professional journalist. She knows what she's doing. <laughs> Okay, well, and plus we do have viewers, quite a few of them, and we don't want to disappoint them. Right, So, right, so. we should probably keep going with the show, well, I mean, but yes. I'm just so frazzled. Now that Molly's gone, it's going to I'm so it's, frazzled it's by apart. all the news that I found out. I found out that my boyfriend was cheating on me, and then I was late. Drew, you And then dog. now I find out that Molly's going off with some old guy. Some creepy old guy from Ole Miss. Yeah. Likes football a lot. I, don't <gasps> I hope we haven't beaten this to death. Yeah, yeah, is yeah, it? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, okay. We do have a... Get it? Yeah. <laughs> So, okay, so let's talk instead about memorable moments in our lives because, frankly, my life has been really short and an interview that I conducted last night made me realize that not a whole lot has happened in my life. <laughs> a lot has happened in other people's lives, but not a whole lot has happened in mine. Well, what are some, some, yeah, what are some important things? things? So, well, so what are, like, the biggest... You haven't gotten married. That's you what I was going to say. You haven't been to outer space. Okay. So what are some important events well, that what, have happened? I was going to say, not things that have happened. Let's talk about the things that are going to happen. Like, mm, if yeah, let's, let's talk enough. about weddings and children and, and all those shuttles. things. It's almost... And space shuttles. They go right Sorry, along. Sorry, I'm on sort of they a They go right along kick. with marriage and children. Yeah. It was dinosaurs last week. Right about the time that you have your second child, all you really want to do is be in outer space, I imagine. Yeah, so... Save up your money. Okay, but so tell me, I, I want to grill. I want to ask you guys, why are guys afraid to get married? Oh, do we want? <laughs> yeah. Do, do we want a like a? I want honest. A fluff okay. answer, yeah. or okay. do I we, think it's because you're worried that the relationship won't really work, and if you're married, it's kind of too late at that point. Yeah. Won't really work in what sense? Because the passion will die. <laughs> Or, or it's just kind of a fear of it being locked down. I mean, girls yeah. tend to have a more like romanticized idea of married life, where the guys tend to see it more as. Like, we saw Revolutionary Road. We know what it's really like. Oh. Yeah. yeah. I refuse to watch that show because someone told me how it ended. That would be an affair to remember. It's the same going way that, that movie. all of Kate not Winslet's even, movies Not even end. being the characters, but just going to that movie would be an affair yeah, to remember. Yeah, it's the worst date movie of 2008 is what we What's decided the best? On What's, the best? What's the best? Best date movie? Hmm. I don't know. Best date movie. I guess I'll have to think about that one because there were a lot of good ones. It depends if they're the type of people who get offended by... Good humor or not? Do you think Doctor Shivago would like be a that. good Valentine's Day movie? If you're married, no. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Just checking. If, I just yeah. 
It's We were sitting in Adam's car movie. listening to Lara's theme Jennifer. last night and it reminded me I mean, me of it. that's before I dropped you off of that guy's apartment. <sighs> right. You kids. This is just, I'm just not even, okay. You guys, I mean, I was feeling pretty happy about the world before coming to the show and you've just destroyed all my faith in humanity. Whoa. Sorry. I will say that the wow. set looks all really, really nice. It I does. think that, yeah, it's pretty memorable. Okay, so we've you, sort you of started chocolate? talking about marriage, but you guys really, They're not poisoned. You, really haven't, you really haven't answered my question. You've said that you're afraid of being locked down as in like right. you're afraid of yeah. not being able to date whoever you want what? because when you're in a relationship, you can't date whoever you want ostensibly either. Well, no, but... Right, it's more about like if, it, if, a, like if you're, if you're just you. dating and the relationship turns sour, you're like, oh, you know, it's Peace horrible. Out. It's but horrible. Right. Worse, Mary, you know what? No yeah. one's angry necessarily because you, you know, oh, it just didn't work out. If you divorce, you feel like a failure, even if you're not, you know, yeah. but it just That's has kind of, that stigma. Yeah. And, you know, no one wants to get to that position. Right. So a fear of divorce, is that, it's really that's, more afraid of, you're more probably, afraid of divorce than you are afraid of marriage? Well, not just even divorce, but just being locked in a loveless marriage, I think. Yeah. Would be even worse than With divorce. an ice queen. Yeah. I and mean, what if your, you know, lovely just lady freedom. turns into an ice queen? Yeah. Because, I mean, they're Most on their best do. behavior until <laughs> they get the ring. <laughs> If you're I'm trying not, to encourage, I'm really helping you. See, no, I didn't say anything like, about trying to encourage. Dating is like I'm a job interview. Understand. You know, when you're having your interview, you're always very polite. You sit up straight. You're nice to your boss. As soon as you get the job, you start showing up late for shifts. You start slacking off, being a little bit rude. So getting married is when you give them that job. Only the problem is when you fire him, you got to give them a huge severance check. So, yeah. Gosh. So simple. <laughs> Did you ever think and about it that way? Memo to employers. Adam fully plans to show up late for hey, I am I'm Memo a, to I'm me. A good yeah. I need to be on time anyway. <laughs> it's not intentional. I just have that issue. Anyway, yeah. you know what's funny about me being late? I wrote a poem in the seventh grade called oh, Tardy Tina. I, I, I thought you were going to say you wrote a poem <laughs> on your way here about your experience of being late like yes yes i just I wrote a song out. i am late today hold on let me compose speaking a of poems oh, speaking of poems we're not really staying on topic here so we might as well just be tangential <laughs> okay i that is a tangent i i think that writing a poem for someone if it's actually a really good poem mm. would be one of the best uh, possible valentine's day that's actually a gift i gave last year really? i wrote a sonnet i am a pentameter in everything Wow, Did you really? a little little Bill Shakespeare. Yeah. You remember? Here. You remember any of the lines? You want to share any? Not that I want to share. Ooh. And all I got back was a card. Hmm. <laughs> but you love cards. He was expecting diamonds. <laughs> yes, I was Zells. I was expecting my, uh, you know, thank you for the sonnet ring. Although you know, some people don't. Some people don't eat that up. Zells. Diamonds? No, no everyone <laughs> was like, what? Oh, okay. I, I was talking about poetry and that. Okay. Yes, no, that's true. That is true. You, you have know. to you have to gauge the girl, gauge the right, guy. Because right. sometimes that, that could be mistake. completely yeah. that could yeah. be completely the worst move. You right, know? that's yeah. true. And they, they can is like, wow, this person yeah. is sappy. Yeah. Sappy that's and the whole a little time bit lame. She was like, I hate that's Valentine's true. Day. It's just Hallmark greeting cards and wouldn't even wear that's pink what she said? yeah. So I was like, oh, she's just saying that, you know, but no, she was. She really meant it. She yeah. did not like pink or poetry. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that one, Adam. Okay. What can you do? Okay. And, and I want to know, while we're talking about affairs to remember, what's the thing that guys look forward to with comparable excitement as girls look forward to their wedding days? Like the thing you dream Outer about. Space. your whole Super Bowl. Playing in the Super Bowl. I don't know. No, Playing I mean, in the Super Bowl or yeah. watching it? Playing. Playing. Because okay. watching the Super Bowl is like going to a wedding. Okay, you get yeah. to do it. For girls, because girls love going to I, weddings. Yes, I, I, you know, I really don't know if there's a singular event. Know. There's got to be. You know, be. like one singular that feels like, oh, the summit. I mean, there's always yeah. going to be new job promotions. You're never going to really yeah. feel like, oh, I've hit it. I mean, well, unless, I don't think that it's a, the wedding unless it is a specific. The summit, of course. I think that's a huge problem <laughs> no. with our society right now that we're picturing it as like, this is the peak and then we go down from here. No, no, no. Like, that's the beginning of the new adventure. It's beginning. It sort of, is. Yeah, it's sort of like how you know Harry Potter, Dumbledore explains that death is the new exactly. adventture. So. Right. So I guess you guys think of what yeah. days as death. Fine. Yes. But still, you get it's all dressed up nice. All your family's there. And it was it's just Jay like and Barry yep. who said to die yep. is the next great adventure, not Dumbledore. Just Dumbledore. Yeah, yeah. Nobody I reads. Think J. K. Rowling nobody reads steals Peter Pan Everything anymore. from other people, but that's okay. That's just. I opinion. like. Don't. Let's not just. I actually Potter. probably shouldn't say that because we're yeah. studying libel and. All kinds of things in media you law. Now, makes me really it. makes me really panicked. I'm best sure J.K. Rowling. Don't worry, she would she never sue anybody. Su she probably would yeah. sue us for this. But I th I love Harry Potter, so 
Anyway. She's probably, okay. yeah. So another question. I have lots of questions Let's for you guys. We're, we're, we are going to come. We do have coming. musical guests. We though, do have so. musical guests. Yeah. And had we had, yes, but I, I, I wanted to ask this too. Okay. What about, what's a present that guys like as much as girls like flowers? Like it's that, that we can thing. say on air? Can we please go to break, please? Yeah, I think uh, we need to go on break. On that note, so we will see on that you note, let's, after let's the go to break. We got some crazy musical guests, the Bobbleheads. Oh uh, yes, Bobbleheads. We'll be with them right <laughs> after this. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, thanks for coming back with us. Here we've got a very special treat. This is my friend Tyler, and this is my friend Adam. They're Ad my friends too. They're they're Tina's friends too. Um, we're both their friends. They're both yes. collect. Yeah. We're all we're all buds. But the but the point is that we are so very fortunate that we have friends who are incredibly musically talented. Incredibly talented. I know talented. that I personally enjoy being serenaded by Tyler Davis quite quite frequently. Right. Like I'll, I'll be in the quad, <laughs> hanging out doing music. He and his friend Carl, another one of our friends, will just be jamming on their and guitars. Now, and now this is so actually good. their first live event together. Yeah, actually. I mean, yeah. besides playing in the dorms, right? right. right? So I mean, this, big deal, big deal, people. Well, that was pretty live though. Big thing. That well, I mean, that, okay, that's pretty live. This is the you first know what time I'm saying. Actually, every time we've played, it's been live. <laughs> All right, so I'm just making stuff up. Um, so you guys are going by the bobbleheads these going days? The bobbleheads. Any any reason for that? Um, no. Have you seen <laughs> our melons? <laughs> I know, that's why I couldn't help resist but touch them. All right, well... Oh, that's your name. What, that's your, what are you guys going to be playing for us today? Uh, we're actually going to be playing a, a classic uh, folk ballad about love. Love song. About, about love. love. Okay, so, oh, awesome. Perfect. I'm excited here. You know, okay. don't tell me anything more. I think we're just going to go take, sit back, have a seat, and, and enjoy it. watch um, you guys work your magic. I, Thank you so much for coming on the show. In, so. What? Um... Well, one detail is uh, my guitar isn't plugged in. Oh, it's not plugged in. No, that's well, that's, it, it it should come it'll, it'll it'll come through. Yeah, but okay. we will promise to line in. It's, oh, yeah. I, you know, I'm sorry, guys, that you don't get special no, it's, treatment. No, it's I, good though. You know what? So, we're gonna play our music. We'll just play the acoustic uh, folk ballad. Anyway, um, we're so excited that they're here because I've been begging them to come on the show for forever. Yeah. So, so thank you, thank you, well. thank you. I've been you, trying to you. keep them off the show, <laughs> to be honest. But you guys are going to enjoy this. We give you the bobbleheads. The bobbleheads. I've been loving you Way I wanted to What I had to do I had to run from you I'm in love with you But the vibe is wrong And that haunted me All the way home So you never know Never, never know No, you never know Never, never know, never know love Oh, till we lose control System overload Screaming no, no, no No, 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 no I'm not loving you The way I want it to I say I want to move Somewhere far home, in 
the danger zone Oh, how many times did I tell you, boy, it finally got through You lose, you lose I'm not loving you way I wanted to I got something to lose, so I keep it true Oh, no, 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 no Oh, screaming, no You love locked down, you keep your love locked down. You love locked down, you keep your love locked down. You love locked down, you keep your love locked down. You lose. Gotta keep it going, gotta keep it going, love Keep it on the road Cause only you know I, If I'll be with you Baby, I've no clue If I'll be with you I'm not loving you We I wanted to I take back what I said about trying to keep you off the show. All right. Well, that's that good. was a joke. Because we're here. Because so. you guys are here, and yeah. that was awesome. That was amazing. Thanks for actually making this episode good, guys. You yes. know. And well, to whatever producers were watching the show, or whatever the people are who put out CDs. What do you call them? Producers. Produ producers. Producers. Talent yes. scouts. I would talent, talent scouts. scouts. Yeah. I want to take full credit for discovering them, even though I really didn't. <laughs> By the way, Adam can dance. She lived wow. next to them. So, yeah. Yes. Amazing. You guys are awesome. 